Hey guys, it's M Beans, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back. Today I have part two of Resident Services. This video is going to be super short. I did the right side of my Resident Services in the back area in my last video. And Pearl, you need to back up. This time, I'm going to do the left side of my island. I mean, well, really just the left side of my resident services. I really want to do a butterfly pond, so I'm excited to tackle that. Um, if you are new to this channel on this island, I want to do all pink and brown tones with a lot of white and bunnies and bubbles especially. I am keeping it in cherry blossom season just because it is way better obviously to have pink trees when you are going for a pink island. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you'd like to see when I upload a new video. So let's just get right into the build. So hi, it's future me. I am going to be doing a voiceover of this since I sped it up. But I started with, I already laid out the bricks and tiles before I started recording just because I forgot and it was a little confusing. I followed this layout from Goldie Horizons on Instagram and I believe she's on Twitter but I don't use Twitter so you will see me still struggling with this butterfly a little bit but I hope by watching me you can understand how to do it like here I made it too wide and I was like what the heck but it turned out right I just needed to round those two corners so now I'm just going to lay down my path to kind of mirror the other side and I'm just going to make this a little butterfly flower garden with a little seating area because if you know me, I am obsessed with seating areas. This whole game is like, isn't the whole reason to take cute pictures with your friends when they come over? I'm obsessed with pictures, guys. I literally just got a new iPhone because my other phone broke and... I'm telling you, I had a little over 15,000 pictures on my old iPhone, and uh, that was ridiculous. So I finally, finally took the time to go through all the pictures, and I deleted so many. Now I have like 5,000 photos. So I'm very proud of myself. Um, I freed up a lot of storage, even though I have, I had plenty of storage. I mean, I was using. 129 gigabytes of my 256 gigabytes, but a lot of my photos were just repetitive and irrelevant. So I feel like a new person. New phone, new storage, more room for Animal Crossing photos. So here I am just stealing trees from the other parts of my island and just trying to see what looks good playing around, wondering how can I make this a seating area. I'm going to have flowers all on the outskirts of the pond. Pink and white flowers are what I'm going for. When I originally created this island, I wanted it to be like a spring island, but I did not expect to go for like mostly pink and brown. Um, I love brown, I love pink, but I really wanted to originally put like yellow in it too and like actual spring colors, but I have just accidentally stayed with the pink and I love it so that's how it's gonna be I 
I think I'm going to make the front part of my island like this more city elegant core with like the roads or the streets, I guess, the sidewalks. And then once you cross over my river, I will make it more of like a natural type spring core island. That's what I'm going for for now. Who knows, that could change by next week, of course. So now I'm going to time travel and make all the flowers grow. And I did add some bubble machines back there behind the two hedges. I didn't record that, but I just hid them back there. And here we have lots of bugs already because these are literally the only flowers on my island. I had another bubble blower there. This is my resident services completed. A lot of my villagers are out here, so happy to be enjoying it. Ah, it's a tree. Okay. But I'm really happy with all the colors and how this turned out. Pearl is so cute. Oh, and so is Kix. So let's just go back and check out the right side as well. I also have the bubble blowing guy ward back there. Absolutely love it. Hey girl, hey. And then you walk over this bridge and that will become like natural spring core, I believe. Next, I really need to work on my villager homes. They all live on the beach and on the edges of my island right now, and that's just not fair. Well, let's go back to the pond. I just want to show you again. I'm really happy with how beautiful this turned out. I love it. I can't wait to invite some friends over to come take some pictures, but I really need to add more in the background first. But. As you can see, the bubble blowers are back there. I wish we could have way more bubbles than that. Like, can I get a supercharged bubble blower, please? And thank you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to see when I upload a new video, just hit that notification bell. And I hope to see you in the next one. I am way more active on Instagram lately because I've had a lot of stress in my real life. I have dealt with some family issues and hospital issues. So everything's fine now and the issues of my phone, but everything's fine now and I am back. I'm glad to be back. I hope you guys are still with me and if you're new that you stick with me. Everyone is human and we all have lives outside of Animal Crossing as much as most of us don't want to. I wish I could just sit around and play Animal Crossing all the time, but I do have other priorities. But I hope to see you over on Instagram and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.